Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Kia Familia. So, today's vlog is on downtown Toronto, or more specifically, the AGO. The exact location of the gallery is 317 Dundas Street W, Toronto. So, the AGO is the Art Gallery of Ontario. So, as you guys know, it's currently Ramadan, so we were all fasting through this entire day, so it was a very long day for us. We arrived at downtown around 5 p.m. and so when we arrived it was Asr time so we decided to pray first. So here we are going towards the Masjid Toronto so we can pray. After we were done praying, we started heading towards the AGO. The AGO was approximately an 8 minute walk from Masjid Toronto. While we were walking, we passed by the village by the Grange, which is a food court. We finally arrived at the AGO, as you can see in front of you. And the main reason that we came here is because my sister had a college trip, so we decided to tag along so we could explore the gallery too. We hadn't really anticipated how crowded it would be, but when we got there, the line was so long. We walked all the way to the back and the line was around two blocks and it was so intimidating. Finally, after waiting in line for a long time, we finally entered the AGO. So the entrance is completely free for this gallery, but you still have to get your tickets. You can either get them online or in person, or you can have a membership. We got ours online. Now we were at the coat check because we had to give our really big coats and big bags so they could take them for us and we could get them back at the end of the day. After our coats were checked, we entered the main entrance and they checked our tickets. Finally, we were in and ready to explore. So we started off at the ground floor obviously and each floor has a very specific major theme or topic designated to it. There were hallways leading up to all of these different rooms within rooms and it was really amazing because of how unique the artwork was here. There was a huge variety of artworks to be explored here. There were paintings, there were sculptures, there were also some very ancient jewelry. We were in complete shock at how beautiful every single piece of artwork here was. Each room was also painted a different color as you can see throughout this vlog and it was really fun to see. When we researched more about the AGO after visiting it, we found out that this entire gallery has up to 95,000 different pieces of works. This is such an insane number to think about and we probably only paid attention to a little bit of that number. This was a very interesting area of the gallery as there were some plates showed here and they also had a lot of trophies, all of which had some stories behind them. These stories and the people these things belonged to were written in the showcase.
history. You know history? You know history? After spending a long time exploring the ground floor, we started heading towards this hallway which led to the first floor. Look at how amazing the structure of these stairs are. It brings so much beauty to the gallery. So the main theme of the first floor was the cause family. So we will show you a lot of things in this floor related to it. So Cos was a man called Brian Donnelly who was born in Jersey City, New Jersey and he started off as a graffiti writer. He made Cos his artist moniker because he liked how the letters looked together. So he started making a lot of popular cartoon figures in his art which also led to a whole family of creations of characters. You will be seeing a lot of his artwork and sculptures based off of his art later on. So, this section was mostly based around seasons and nature. This section was so interesting for us to walk through as all of the paintings were made so uniquely. Like some of these paintings of mountains look as if they've been given human features like anger. This makes a painting so much more interesting to look at as we can make our own stories based off of them. You can see how heavily these paintings have been based off of the seasons, such as autumn here, winter, and spring too. These paintings here remind me so much of summer. So now we were headed into the main attraction of this area, which was a cause family. So all of these characters that you will see now were made by Brian Donnelly and his imagination. And here's some information on him if you would like to read it. This was such a fun area for my brother as all of these sculptures and paintings were so fun to us. So cause was also very interested in toys as you can see from this display. So my sister's college class was having a scavenger hunt where they had to find specific paintings and this was one of the paintings that they had to find. We were also attempting to help her by trying to find as many paintings as we possibly could. There was a hidden entrance in the cause section which led to this beautiful and brightly lit hallway. Just look at how beautiful the architecture of this hallway is. It allows for so much natural light to come through and reflect off of the amazing wood. This was probably one of my favorite parts of the gallery just because of the view and the light. These sculptures that you will see here are also pieces of Cos's works.
At the end of the hallway was a really tall structure that we were all really pleased to see. This sculpture is called the Moko Jambi sculpture. This area was specifically designated to the arts of global Africa. It represents the entirety of Africa and all of its different cultures. At this point, my sister and my brother gave up, but there was still another floor to get to, so my mom and I decided to keep going. Unfortunately, we didn't know that we could take the elevator, so we took the stairs, and we didn't realize how long the stairs would be. Well, after climbing the stairs for a while, my mom got really tired and gave up, so I decided that I would continue all the way to the top and make as much content as possible. Also, look at how beautiful the view was while I was going up. I was so shocked. The stairs just kept going and going and I just kept climbing and climbing, and you can probably hear me panting in the background because I ran out of breath because of how many stairs there were. I probably climbed over a hundred stairs and it was just so long. Finally, I reached all the way to the top and I explored some of this floor. This was a really beautiful layout of a very older house and it was so nice to see. I then left this area and went to the other side and although there was a lot to see at this floor, I was so tired by the time I got up the stairs that I just didn't have the energy to explore the entire floor. So after exploring some of the areas, I decided to head back down. Finally, we were done exploring the entire gallery and now we were at the gift shop. The things here were really expensive, but that's to be expected from a gallery. We were selling all different things like cartoon figures, jewelry, shirts, everything. We were even selling some dishes as you can see here. After the hours of exploring, we were all so tired and it was time for Maghrib. So it was time for us to finally break our fast. So we headed towards a coat check section. We got our bags and our coats and we headed back outside. We didn't have food, but we all took one date each to break our fast. Finally, we made our way back to the Masjid Toronto so we could eat some actual food after breaking our fast. Also, I just want a moment to talk about how beautiful downtown Toronto looked like in the evening. We finally reached the Masjid and we started eating the food that they were giving out. After a very, very long day, our trip was finally finished and we decided to head back home. There was also a great parking area right next to the masjid where we parked and we only paid $6 for 24 hours. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and share. Bye!